Welcome to the first example of a proof showing two triangles are congruent. Remember the four postulates that we can use to prove two triangles are congruent are side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. Notice that side, 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 as well as angle, 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 cannot be used to prove two triangles are congruent. In this video we want to prove that triangle MNP is congruent to triangle ONP given that N is the midpoint of segment MO and segment PN is perpendicular to segment MO. Let's go ahead and take a look at an enlarged diagram of this so that we can devise our strategy before we start writing down our statements and reasons. Well if point N is the midpoint of segment MO, we know that segment MN would be congruent to segment NO. And if segment PN is perpendicular to segment MO, we know we'd have two right angles here and here, which means those two angles would be congruent. And then notice that the two triangles share side PN, and of course PN is congruent to itself. So notice that we could use side, angle, side to prove these two triangles are congruent. So let's go ahead and organize these thoughts in a two column proof. So step one will state the given. N is the midpoint of segment MO and segment PN is perpendicular to segment MO. This is given. For step two, let's deal with this midpoint. If N is the midpoint, we know that segment MN is congruent to segment NO. This is by definition of midpoint. Next, because segment PN is perpendicular to segment MO, we know that angle PNM and angle PNO will be right angles. This is by definition of perpendicular lines. Or we could say perpendicular segments. And then because both of these angles are right angles, we know they're congruent to one another. And the reason for this is that all right angles are congruent. So far we have two sides congruent and two angles congruent. And then because both triangles share segment PN, and segment PN of course is congruent to itself, this is by the reflexive property. And now we have everything we need by side, angle, side. These two triangles are congruent. Now let's be careful when we list these congruent triangles. If we list the first triangle as triangle MNP, we must list the other triangle so the vertices would be corresponding. So we'd have to list the second triangle as triangle O N P. And this is again by the side angle side postulate. We're going to go ahead and stop here and take a look at a second example in part two.